Maybe it's because we work in an office and don't ask for fucking headshots with our applications. Uh, excuse me? Oh. <sighs> I've got to go. We'll talk more later. Bye, Merle. I'm so sorry. I didn't see you there. I'm Helen. I just need to know, are you the new hire or the new boss? Uh, as a matter of fact, um, I, I am. I am the new boss. Absolutely. Yeah, right. You're not, honey. <laughs> That's funny, though. I like it when the new hires have a sense of humor. <laughs> Let's get you all set up. Head on into the next room and find a place to work. Go on without me. I haven't left this chair in years, and I don't plan to start now. <laughs> God, they're here. Hey, you must be the new office clerk, right? Just sort through that paperwork for us. We're so small. Uh, sure. Uh, yes. I will see what I can do. Oh, jeez. Okay, this is more paperwork than I anticipated. All right, better get to work. So, we still good for hyperfeast later? What time did you say again? Uh... Zorg. Oh, yeah. Zorg totally works. Hey, newbie. You know Hyperfeast? They create new life in front of you and you get to eat it alive? Shit's wild, man. Hyperfeast. <laughs> See you there, girlfriend. You're my girlfriend. We're dating. Oh, my God. I'm going insane. I'm going fucking nuts. What? Yeah, I, uh, God, I think my brain's breaking. I, I think doing this job is making my brain break completely. Oh, yeah, me too, me too. It's fun. You don't mind your brain breaking? And done, finally! You don't mind your brain breaking? Well, you don't mind the, this fucking monotonous nightmare work? No, no, it's nice. It's cool to just give in to a broken brain. I can't do math anymore. And if I stay here another year, I think I'll forget how to say three syllable words. Okay, that honestly doesn't sound so bad. It's not bad. It's terrific. Fantastic. Amazing. Three words I won't be able to say next year, so save them now. Oh, buddy, I will. You know, I, I kind of don't mind this at all. Ow, paper cut. Uh, just kidding. Huh. It would have been you. You would have been the one to get the paper cut. Hey, what time did we say for her? All in a day's work. Glad we got that all done. There, are, there definitely is not going to be a third stack. Ah, the cold sting of irony. Is is that ironic? I, I never really know. Hey, what time did we say for Hyper Feast again? Uh, don't you listen to anything? We said Zorg. Zorg. Ah, right, right. Damn. I just remembered I had something going on at Zorg. Holy shit, I, I am, I'm gonna blow my fucking brains out. What? Oh, I didn't see you there. Do you, do you still sit here? That's so funny. Yeah, this is still my spot. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. It does, it does, yeah. I, I, I think if I if I sit back down... Oh, okay, we're done. No more paperwork. Did you hear me? I said no more paperwork. Not even a fourth stack. Okay, good. God damn, you filled out those papers like a son of a bitch. Like a real bitch you are. Fuck you. You're you're promoted. You're free to go into Kruvis' office. Why? Because fuck you. That's why I don't need a fucking reason. I'm boss McBossington. And I'll be in here jerking off or whatever. Fucking other stuff too. I don't I don't give a shit. I, I, I think if I if I sit back down at my desk, my soul is just gonna leave my body. Okay, well. I've got work to do. Yeah, I know, me too. I, I have to do all this fucking work. This is the whole fucking problem, man. Look, just because we used to be married doesn't mean you can keep leaning on me to work through your issues. That was one night. We got married for one dumb night and had 16 kids. You need to leave me alone. Oh, jeez, yeah. No, I'm I'm so sorry. I, I didn't mean to bother you like that. Uh, it's, it's fine. Just... Please, just let me get back to work. I gotta be honest, I totally forgot we used to be married and had 16 kids together. That, that's not why I came over here. I, I just think you're nice and, and pretty and good at listening. Uh, really? Because I am. I, I'm nice and good at listening. Oh, yeah, I, I know that very well. Wow. Well, I, I think you're nice and good at listening, too. And you have a very hot body. Oh, my God, thank you. <laughs> that's so nice. Um, hey, wait... Would you maybe, like, want to get some drinks tonight? Uh, like, maybe around Zorg? 
Oh, uh, I, I made plans tonight. Uh, actually, yes, I'm free. I'd love that. See you at Zorg. Hey. God damn it. I'm just in my mind palace solving a decades long mystery. He just interrupted me. <sighs> Sorry, uh, I gotta tell you something important. Well, it better be important, because that case is never gonna get cracked now. The victims will never see justice. I, uh, I can't go to Hyperfeast with you. What? What do you mean? They literally create life in front of your eyes and you eat it. It's fucking Hyperfeast. I made plans with someone else. You, you what? I'm gonna get married to Dimitri again. I mean, we only made plans for the one date night tonight, but trust me, I could feel it. We're getting married again. Dimitri? <laughs> but, but baby. I'm not your baby anymore. I'm Dimitri's kiss bag. I'm nothing more than a little sack of flesh for Dimitri to kiss all over whatever he wants. But I thought we had something special. Uh, we don't. We never did, and we never will. You dink. Yo, man, meet! Let's jet! Fuck, you're, oh my god, you're so hot. <laughs> fuck you, other guy, we hate you. Yeah, f yeah, fuck you. Our, our date's jet skiing. We're, we're gonna go jet ski and make out. Have fun at Hyperfeast, Lamo. Oh god, I love them so much. They were so fucking hot. God, what are you looking at? You never seen a moblin cry? Holy fuck, that was dark!